Greetings outstanding folks and welcome back. Joe Man here with another trumpet video. Um, this is a this one's a follow-up to my unboxing video of a recently obtained Box Stradivarius trumpet. Um, in this one I mentioned that the mouthpiece comparisons would be a separate video. This is the case. Because this trumpet came with three different mouthpieces and none of them matched what I already had. And so for the first test, um, I'll, for the test I'll be using the two mouthpieces I normally use, the three that came with the trumpet and two other sizes. I'm not going very small because I remember the experience I had when I did the ten sizes with my Mendini trumpet. I'm not going that small. Uh, first mouthpiece be the 1E mouthpiece. Don't know if you'll be able to see it in the camera. Mach 1E. That's been my go-to mouthpiece, especially for embouchure training. I'm just going to run through a couple of octaves B of a C scale. See what I can do for fluke and high notes and see what it does for low notes. My chops are out of shape, so it is what it is. So I won't crank out the super high notes. Let's try the low notes. So this will do a double pedal C even on one E. That's cool about being a professional over in our rest of it. You can expect good intonation where you expect the harmonics is. Now, next test. Give me a minute warmer. <laughs> One and a half C. This is the size I started with when I got back on the trumpet a couple of years ago. It was also the size I used in high school and college. Same room size, medium depth capillary as the other one's shallow. Shape it, not bad. But that is one and a half C. Now we'll go through the three mouthpieces that came with the trumpet. Uh, first one, a Shilky 14A4A. I've heard of that size before because back when I was in high school, I had a Yamaha flugelhorn which uses the uh, Shilky method of mouthpiece sizing, and it came with a 14A4A. And I'm not completely certain, but I think it might be a 14A4A a Shilke. It might be similar, probably a Bach 3C. Here it goes. <laughs> but that's a nice high note. is a little comparatively shaky compared to my box. The next one I'll test out that, that came with the trumpet is a, a Yamaha Bobby Shoe mouthpiece. Supposedly a professional level, but who knows? I'm putting it in a trumpet. It feels like probably close to like a 3C. But here it goes. Yeah, it'll do the high. 
rhinos. About the same results. The third mouthpiece that came with the trumpet. It's a Monette brand. As I point of the nomenclature, it's strange that it looks like it's either brass plate or might be gold plated. A lot of trumpet players like to use gold plated mouthpieces. We'll see what this does. <laughs> See, it's definitely the most couple out of all the mouthpieces, including the ones I'm used to. It'll do the high notes. That particular mouthpiece seems more suited for high notes and low notes. That's that's pretty decent mouth. That's actually turned out to be a pretty decent mouthpiece. I'm not surprised because Monette is a well well, well respected brand on trumpet equipment. I have two more tests. One that I used on my Mendini a while back, the Bach one. The, the a big bub of the Bach mouthpieces. Now because it's so deep, the high notes are a little more difficult. Low notes will be easy. Because of how big that mouthpiece is, double pill seems pretty easy on it. One final test. The Bach 5V. The only deep type, the only deep type V cut the Bach makes. <laughs> makes that more difficult is that smallest room size of the ones I've tested. And that's it for the mouthpiece checks because I wanted to include the ones that came with the trumpet. As far as my normal usage, I'll probably still stick with the one happy and one E because that's what I'm used to using. I do have some pretty good options though. And because of it's being Bach, more respected brand, uh, this thing's going to serve me well. And the and uh, so I'll do what I can and I uh, uh, appreciate you guys taking the time to watch and you're welcome to subscribe and all best.